A lot of inmates would complain. After a career in law enforcement as a jailer from Multnomah County. I have these here. Mike Veely uh, is no stranger to crooks. Yes, yeah. actually I lived with him eight hours a day. But during a trip to Venice, Italy in the summer of 2018, he met his match. In a city famous for them, a pickpocket stole his wallet and Mike never felt it. Not a thing, no. I didn't, I wasn't aware of it. He lost a credit card, driver's license, and the equivalent of $500 cash. Anger, a lot of it. It was the very first day of what may well be the last overseas trip Mike and his wife ever share. He has terminal cancer. The doctor said there is no cure. I'm the kind of guy that wants to know, just unvarnished, what's the reality? And he says, well, you won't die an old man, and uh, the cancer will be the cause of your death. So when that thief stole his wallet, he triggered a volcano of emotions that Mike knew he had to quickly control. So I closed my eyes for about 10 seconds and just said a quick prayer and asked God to help me with my anger and uh, to get the trip back on track. And it worked. He would forgive. And that was a critical component to forgive this person, because if I didn't, then that anger would be forefront in my mind, right? And the anger would dictate my trip without forgiveness the trip was doomed. That afternoon, he felt an overwhelming urge to write a note to the thief, something he'd never done before. This is what it said. This is my last trip with my wife. I'm dying from cancer. You left me with no money and no credit cards. Imagine for a moment what this does to your victim. I have been praying for forgiveness. I also pray for you. Turn away from your sin, which hurts innocent people. I forgive you. Michael Veeley, USA. The next day, Mike believes he heard the Holy Spirit urging him to take the note to the police station. An officer passed it on to a friend who happens to be a journalist, and it ended up on the front page of the local newspaper. NBC News picked it up and spread the story around the world. And she said, Mike, it's important for you to understand that your letter touched the hearts of millions of people. And I started to cry. Offers of help and support poured in. And earlier this month, Mike returned to Venice, where he stayed for free at a fancy hotel, attended the opera, represented America at a 9-11 observance, and felt the love of a people who appreciated his lesson in forgiveness. Yeah. I'll be honest, I felt uh, adopted by the people of Venice. Everywhere I went, I mean, I'm just a guy, you know, I live in a brush prairie and, and uh, I have a dog and a family, but, but all of a sudden, there's just this outpouring of love from the people of Venice. Beatley said the love he got back was way more valuable than the money he lost. <laughs> back to you. Love it, Pat. Thank you.